It's April 5th, 2024. I'm Todd Dunn, and uh, it's the day after the storm. So I'm out today. Yesterday, uh, it started raining and snowing and stuff uh, when I finished plowing, so I left the plow on the truck just in case it snowed more overnight. Didn't, so now uh, I'm going to take the plow off. And then we're going to go out and look around a little bit and see what the area looks like the day after the big storm where we were forecast to get as much as 8 to 12 inches of snow. Uh, let's take a look though at a little bit of my yard just to see what happened here. Okay, it's still raining lightly, but you can see this is my driveway. It melted out completely except a little bit over there. A lot of the snow that came down has melted. Here's my side yard. This was completely snow covered yesterday. And let's take a look at the road. Now I did plow the road. Moved a little gravel, but not as much as I might have. And because uh, I did try to keep the plow blade off the rocks. And look up the road. Pretty bad. But the snow has significantly melted out. I probably could have not bothered to plow the road at all and it would have melted. Although the power company came down the road here right after I finished plowing. So they probably appreciated it. Here's my yard on the east side. You can see it's almost completely melted out and the grass is starting to green up. Okay, let's come around the corner here and look at the segment of road that I didn't plow. Now yesterday, about half of this segment of road was just covered with slush. And because it did not get much accumulation because the wind was blowing across the road. But as you can see, the rest of it melted out completely. Anyway, I'm going to take the plow off the truck and then I'm going to drive up and have a look at the spot where the power company was working yesterday to get our power back. Okay, I'm heading out the road. You can see where I cleared it. Yeah, pushed a little sand off to the side, but not a huge amount. I did a pretty good job of not doing that. So what I was trying to do is not push all the gravel off to the side of the road. And here we go, some bottles. See, they're partly filled in. And we'll go up and take a look at the spot where the power company was working and see if I can see exactly what the problem was. here okay so I'm just gonna go up and pull over and take a look I don't think there'll be much traffic out here oh there comes some Okay, you can see where they were working. You can see a bunch of tree bits alongside the road. That's where the power company was working. Right here, you can see there were two trees down on the power lines there and there. So, uh, yeah, not good. There were two power company trucks here. I'm wondering if there was a problem further up. Yeah, looks like there might have been something here. There's some branches. I didn't see anything. And uh, those trees are going to have to be cut back more because they are still onto the road. But the power company doesn't care about that. Both of these houses here were without power at various times yesterday. Uh, independent of 
us being without power. So we'll just look around a little. As you can see, uh, a lot of the snow is already melted. And the snow did not end that long ago. Good spot to park. We'll go out here and take a look. So this is Route 102A, and I'm just going to look and see what all happened here. As you can see, it's still raining very lightly, but it's not bad. And the town clearly plowed this road. And if we look off to the edges of the road, yeah, there's snow piled up along the edge of the road. That's from the snow plow, but other than that, most of the snow is melted. All the snow is off the trees. When I went out to plow yesterday, they were completely snow covered, and now they're not. Okay, I'm going into Acadia National Park, so I'll stop now. Okay, I just went over to the seawall area in Acadia National Park. Uh, where we've had three storms this year that overwashed the road and did significant damage to it and also to the picnic area. This one doesn't appear to have done more than get a little water over the road. Uh, I didn't see any new rocks and the road uh, wasn't torn up any more than it had been. So that was good. Uh, however, I did go into the picnic area and in there, uh, there were at least eight trees down. Six of them are across the road. And uh, the other two were just in the general picnic area and will need to be cleaned up. The Park Service has a big job to do to get that picnic area picked up and open for the season. The roads in there are still covered with rocks from the last big storm, not this one, but the one before. And uh, it is a mess in there. So they got a clear road. A lot of the picnic areas themselves uh, got overwashed by the storms and were badly damaged. And uh, so that's gonna be something that needs to be repaired. And now they've got eight pretty good sized trees, six across the road that have to be cleaned up before uh, they can do anything. Because <laughs> you cannot drive in there because of the trees across the road. Deer crossing the road here. <laughs> okay, two there, three more on the other side. So that's five deer. Didn't see any deer when I was in the park but I'm sure they're out there. So I'm gonna head over and pick up my mail. Then we'll do a quick loop down by the harbor here in Bass Harbor. And see what things look like. You can see the snow has largely melted out already. So it's pretty, uh, quite a big change <laughs> in one day. I'll pull up and go and get my mail. Alrighty, picked up the mail. It's one of the disadvantages of living on a private road here. We do not have mail delivery to our homes, but the post office does give us a free post office box. And I guess in some ways it's positive because of course, I gotta get out of here. This UPS truck is kind of blocking the road. It, it does give us a secure place for mail. If you get stuff that uh, is important, you can just leave it there and uh, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna just run down by the waterfront and see what it looks like. I doubt there will be any sign of this storm down by the waterfront here in Bass Harbor because this was an easterly storm and Bass Harbor is completely protected to the east. 
So it was probably pretty much a mill pond in here yesterday. And as I said, the high tide was not super high. The big storms in January and uh, back in early March uh, all hit and peaked right at an astronomically high tide. And it doesn't look like anything happened in here. We'll wait till this guy goes past. Yeah, the harbor tide is out, but other than that, the harbor looks pretty normal. I'll turn the camera so you can see a little bit of it here. And, uh, yeah, nothing happened in here. And, uh, and down in here, it's even behind a little bit of a ridge. So they were protected to some extent from uh, winds from the east. Okay, so a lot of tree damage in various places, particularly in the picnic area out at Acadia National Park. And one spot in the picnic area, uh, four trees fell down together and ripped up a huge root mass <laughs> and they all fell across a road so that is going to make a big mess because a couple of them were really quite big and even the small ones were pretty good sized trees for around here i don't see any damage in here really we're coming south on route 102a See the sign, see Wall Road is closed. It's been closed for a month now. It was open from February 14 to early March and it's been shut <laughs> since then. And as you can see, doesn't look like much of anything happened here. The wind would have been blowing across the road here. So if there was any tree damage, the trees would have blown onto the road from the left side as we drive. So I don't see any sign that there was any tree damage up here and the power company did not list any outages up here. But it's looking pretty good. Still a little snow on people's yards but the roads are bare and wet. My normal walk in the uh, seawall campground looked like it would be walking on bare pavement too. So we'll get in there in a couple of days and I'll see what it looks like and report back. Okay, I'll go out here. Yesterday there was a tree down in the park uh, on the road to the lighthouse so you couldn't drive down there. I don't know uh, if uh, I haven't seen if that tree has been cleared out, I expect it has. And uh, this area was without power yesterday because of a couple of trees down right up here. And you can see where they were. There's one that's still on. Uh, uh, the phone line, that's the bottom line, piece of it hanging up there. And here's the tree the power company was cutting yesterday to get the power back up. And the town is going to have to come in and clear that tree out the rest of the way. And here is the road to the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse. I'm not going to go down there because I can't film when I'm down there. <laughs> 